today I want to talk about difficult days. So days where maybe you wake up and you realize I'm going to spend most of my day in bed or I'm, here's my list and I'm not going to get anything done on my list. So um, those days can be extremely difficult for us physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And even after 16 years of living with chronic illness and having these days pop up all the time, it's still hard for me. Sometimes I think like, well, why do I feel this way? That's so surprising when really it's just the nature of chronic illness a lot of times is that some days are difficult and some days we're in bed or on the couch or in the chair and uh, there's not a whole lot or maybe at home and there's not a lot that we can do to change that. Um, we just have to kind of rest and take care of ourselves in the moment. But there is that sort of mental reaction of resistance that, okay, this is one of those days where I'm not going to be able to do anything. So, huh. I'm sad, I'm depressed, I feel like not purposeful, I feel um, kind of like punched in the gut by it emotionally and mentally, and feel like I'm not kind of like serving my purpose in the world on that particular day. And so I've been thinking a lot about it lately. And I've, I've thought about these days in the past as sort of like X days, where when you have this day, it's like an X in your life. It's this day where you don't accomplish anything, uh, you don't feel good, so it's difficult mentally and emotionally and physically, and uh, it's just a hard day for you and for everybody around you. And I thought, you know what? Life is too short for me to have X days. I can't have an X day on my calendar anymore. And this is just something I've been thinking about this last week. Um, I think life is too short. I think I have to take advantage of every single day, and I think there's good in every day no matter how I'm feeling. So I've, I'm vowing to not have any more X days. And I think part of that is preparing mentally that knowing life is gonna have its ups and downs and chronic illness is the same. It ebbs, it flows, and trying to be prepared for whatever might come next. Um, and if we're not prepared for it, just kind of going with the flow of it. So I'm, I'm trying to have a plan for my set up a plan with my caregivers and me. So when I do have one of those days that I used to call an X day, um, that now we have, okay, this is what's going on today. Let's go into our plan. So I was thinking about it. I had this day where I was in bed for the full day. And then I thought, okay, this feels like an X, but how can I not make it an X? So I, I thought about what did I do today besides nothing. Um, and I thought about it and I, I painted my nails. They're starting to chip now, but I did. I painted my nails. I called my brother and my cousin to wish them a happy birthday and had a conversation with them. I read books to my daughter. So there are these little tiny things that I did and they're things that made me happy. So sometimes it's about finding those things that bring us joy. And on a day that we would normally call it an X day, instead of just calling it that and giving up, let's plan as many of those little boosts as we can into our day so that we can find joy. So maybe it's watching something or, you know, cooking something or eating something even, like ordering in your favorite food or whatever you can do. But turning those X days into just normal, regular days and just like squeezing the life out of every day and hour that you have because it is precious and there are good things. If we just stop and get out of that cycle in the head that's telling us that this day doesn't have a purpose and really looking around for all that we can be grateful for, maybe even writing it down like, today I painted my nails, I called my brother, I called my cousin, I hung out with my daughter, and all of these things brought me joy today. And next time I have a day like this, I'm gonna call some more people. I'm gonna paint my nails again. I'm gonna read more books to my daughter. I'm gonna order some books to read to my daughter for my next X day that's not an X day anymore. Um, so I hope this is helpful to you and I hope that you don't have any more X days in your life but that you get everything out of every day that you possibly can. Be well.